Hi guys, Gareth here, and I'm back with the Tottenham Football Manager series. And as you can see today, we're playing Brighton away in the Barclays Premier League. This is our last Premier League game of the season. This could be my last ever Premier League game with Tottenham, um, unless I do decide to come back for another season, or if I decide to stay on for another season. They do have Lee Griffith, Griffiths, of course, the Football Manager God from the last two games. Not so good in this one, unfortunately, um, but he was so good in Football Manager 2012 and 2011. Anyway. Um, so today we've gone with a slightly weaker team, um, just because, you know, it's the last day that Brighton already relegated. We don't have an unbeaten run to hold on to anymore, so um, I thought I might as well play up a weakened team and, you know, just completely rest most players up for the Champions League. The three players that I haven't rested, sorry, four players I haven't rested, are Lloris, Bale, Cavani and Falcao. Um, the other players on the pitch are Richards, Rami, Corker, Crescito, Hamshik, Sandro and Shakiri. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the game. Um, I do have a surprise player, um, possibly in the Champions League final. Um, not not a not a transfer, just um, someone who I didn't think was going to be there, but p possibly could be. Not definite, but possibly could be. Uh, I'm not going to say who it is because I don't want to get people excited. If they, well, if they're going to get excited or, you know, I don't want to just give myself false hope in a way. Um, anyway, let's just con concentrate on this game. Champions League final is there, but we don't want it to overshadow this game, even though it will. <laughs> um, we still want to go and win this game, of course. want to get as many points as possible. Um, so, yeah, let's keep on going. Barnes, Bridcut. What's weird is I've just started a... Oh, my God. Griffiths maybe is amazing in this game as well. What's weird is I've just started a FIFA 13 manager mode with Brighton. If you want to go and check that out on my channel, just a quick um, shout out to myself there um, because we are playing Brighton. Um, I do like to shout out my other series. Series? Series? I don't even know how to say that. My other. I don't know. Playthroughs. Let's put it like that. That'll do. Um, here's Falcao. Bale, what can he do? We, we are 1-0 down to an already relegated team. Not anymore. It's 1-1. Hamshik has fired it into the back of the net. And it is 1-1, like I just said. Bale there, making a nice little run. And comes back in there. Lays it off to Hamshik, who just smacks it into the bottom corner. Perfect goal. What perfect shot. A lot of power into the corner. Uh, unsavable in many ways um, or for many keepers anyway Shakiri now um, really hasn't featured as much as I thought he would Shakiri um, just hasn't been good enough you know there was, some, there was one point when he was performing really well but um, that ended Corker, Hamshik, Sandro Corker again Cavani, Sandro Shakiri and that that's what I'm talking about Shakiri just smacks it wide. Um, my right wingers seem to like doing that, you know, whether it be Neymar, Valencia, Shakiri, or Ayu. Um, they all love smacking it wide for no reason. Um, yeah, Valencia's the only one who's really been a prolific goal scorer from right wing. Neymar probably would be, but he just doesn't play that as many as just doesn't play enough games on that right wing to really become a, a goal scorer from the wing, really. I play them up front more often than not. Um, so yeah, but we won one. Um, it's going okay, you know. Again, it's just a bit of a. It's just trying to build up for that Champions League final, really, um, because it's going to be such a big, a big game that Champions League final. Possibly my last in charge of Tottenham, or at least in this spell. Oh, Cavani is that mate? Yeah, Cavani makes it two-one. Um, but this, you know, this next game against City could be my last in charge of Tottenham, at least in this spell. Um, you know, I've, I've always wanted to leave Tottenham, you know, do a couple of other, do a, a few other seasons at other clubs and then come back to Tottenham, the last one before Fort Manager 2014 comes out. Um, so yeah, that, that's what I kind of want to do. It, whether it happens or not, you know, the Tottenham job might not be available. What I might do is just say, you know what, the Tottenham job's not available, do you want me to add a new manager and then make him retire just so I can go back to Tottenham 
at the end of one of the seasons. I might do that. Um, but you know, Tottenham might not even want me back. You never know. Um, although with how I've done, I'm sure they would. Um, because I really would like to end my, you know, as well as starting, end the career at Tottenham. Um, and then, you know, who knows, maybe in Football Manager 2014, we we won't start with Tottenham, that's for sure, but we might end up at Tottenham at some point. Um, it, 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 I still haven't decided on who I'm going to be. Uh, I normally would, um, as I've... But um, FIFA or EA have decided not to tell us whether... The Blue Squad Premier is going to be in FIFA 14. If it is, then I'll be my favourite club, Hereford, in um, FIFA 14 for the first series, um, and I'll be someone else in Football Manager. If it, if um, you know, it's not in FIFA. If Blue Square or the Conference isn't in FIFA, um, then I'll do it on Football Manager probably, and then end up uh, moving on to someone else once I've achieved everything I possibly can with them. However long that will take. Um, Bale's just gone and got himself a lecture. David Lopez or David Lopez, whatever, I'm not quite sure which one it is. Um, we're still 2 1 up. Um, you know, it's just one of those games you have to kind of get the job done, really. Uh, you're not going to absolutely dominate, but um, get three points. Just get as many points really on the board as possible. Brighton already relegated, so there's no point even trying to help them out. Um, if it was someone like Wigan and if they, and they needed a win, I probably would have just put my under in teams out because, you know, I quite like Wigan, which is very unprofessional, but in the game I want to see them stay up. That's the kind of thing I would do. I've, I have not actually done that in Football Manager before. Um, I think it was with Chelsea in 2008. Um, I had a re that was probably my best ever save, Football Manager 2008. Um, I had a save with Chelsea, we were like five times Champions League winners in six years. <coughs> six time Premier League winners and we won we did basically what I've done with Tottenham I've done it with a few clubs sorry wait a minute <coughs> um, yeah I've done it with a few clubs over the years I always have one club where it's just yes it really just works um, football manager and last year it was Hereford I actually managed to get them to winning the Champions League quite a few times it was the same thing again in football manager 2012 2010 I can't remember 2009, I can't remember either. 2008, I do remember because that was my that was the first one. That was the first one I got. I do actually have 2007 now as well, um, which I also really enjoy. Um, um, but no, oh, don't get yourself <laughs> no corker. I don't want this. If this is the way that we, if that I bow out in the Premier League, I don't want that to be Corker's last game under me. Him getting sent off. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to play him at some point in Champions League now. Uh, can can she did play centre back? He can, yes. Okay, let's move that in there then. Uh, let's get Phil Jones on for Richards because Richards is dead. Um, it's like his second appearance of the season. Anyway, no. Um, yeah, full manager was the first game I ever got. Well, first full manager game I ever got. Um, I got it for Christmas 2008. No, 2007 it would have been. So yeah, I would have been 11. <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, yeah. So yeah, I don't really know what to say now. Um, but yeah, I definitely had the best time with the uh, Chelsea in that. Um, for the first, uh, no, not for for the second season. I I found out the add a new manager, so I had some fun with that. Um, oh my God, Brighton pulled one back. I had some fun with that. Um, you know, I absolutely destroyed Man United. I think I put them down to like League One. Um, just by selling all their best players and um, just holidaying it all while also managing Chelsea. Um, so that was good fun. I basically just got rid of all my rivals. Not really, you know, I didn't actually, you know, just get rid of them. I got rid of United, <laughs> which basically was my biggest rival. Um, so in a way, I, I kind of annoyed that I kind of did that. But I was like tiny then. I, I was just, I was a bit of a D. I was one of those fans. Who, yeah, I was just every little kid. F who likes football, a complete dickhead when it comes to football. Um, that's just how it is. Um, let's get Neymar on as well. Oh my god, Shakira really has had a poor game. 5.7 match rating. I'll be surprised if the next manager after me actually decides to keep Shakiri. That's if we leave. Um, who knows, we may end up staying in Tottenham forever. We may not actually fulfil our dreams, although um, I'm pretty sure if 
this season I don't achieve it and like, if I don't win anything next season I will be very tempted to leave because if I don't win anything next season then uh, you'd imagine a lot of players want to leave or something and a lot of players getting older not quite have that money not quite having that money anymore we are actually building a new stadium for this uh, for Tottenham um, which is why we don't have any money at the moment to spend on transfers which is fine I've spent all my money already uh, we did have like 40 million left but the um, chairman took it all out of our transfer budget to build the new stadium which is fine I asked him for it so um, yeah I'm not even going to use it but or I might do if I do come back who knows T tell me if you want to see me come back or if I you know win if I should just leave it you know and end my career at some other club possibly United possibly Barcelona Bayern Munich or possibly just some random small team <laughs> um, I wouldn't mind going to Hereford for a couple of seasons trying to get them up um, into at least League One or something hopefully they go up in this season actually if they do I'll find it very hard not to go and see if I can get that job <laughs> um, or if their manager <coughs> gets some promotion I doubt he'll be getting sacked he might get slapped up on oh, Hamshik in the last minute <coughs> sorry I've got a bit of a dry throat really I think it is <coughs> yeah but Hamshik in the last minute Kushak does manage to get his hands on it but it does still go in 3-2 it's just typical Tottenham isn't it um, well typical of my Tottenham we seem to score quite a lot of late goals we do concede a fair few as well though unfortunately um, but that's the final whistle we have managed to win the Premier League this this year um, that could be our last ever Premier League match so it's going to be an emotional time um, honestly uh, speaking about um, managers taking over um, I would like to see Drogba take over at the as the manager of Tottenham to be honest um, cause he's you know been my assistant and I think he could do a good job he always seen him and Heskey seem to be really really good managers and, and football manager for some reason um, I remember once I was with Hereford and I had Heskey as my assistant and Wigan snapped him up and Wigan um, th they ended up getting the Europa League um, from a season where they just survived um, and it was quite funny it was quite funny because I was against him and we also got Europa League because we won the FA Cup we finished 10th because that's my first season in the Premier League with Hereford. Uh, we finished 10th and won the FA Cup, uh, but Wigan just had a really good season. And it was all because of Heskey, I said. I, I always, I always like to think I taught him everything and he knew. Um, but come the end of the season now, um, Bale is top of the assists and he leads that by more than 20 goals. 20, sorry, 20 assists, 21 assists more than Eden Hazard, who, who's in second. Farquhar got two more goals than. Damiao who was there, um, you look at this, Falcao and Cavani, the two best strikers in terms of shots on target, um, Cavani, how many games did he play in the Premier League, 27, so he's got more than one goal a game, um, one goal every two games I should say, um, and even better than that in all competitions, uh, I think Cavani's been a really good signing, you know, despite being 50 million, Dede's obviously up there as well for player of the year, with Samba as well, Jonas Olsen and Fletcher are up there, wow Fletcher, he's going to be pretty old, yeah 31 now, a very good player in real life by the way, um, I'm not going to even bother on that, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to find Corker, I, I want to just let him be, um, it may be like a disappearance in whatever, but yeah, happy to get all that money for Tottenham, Have, has any of that gone straight in our budget or has it all gone towards other we have actually got some about five hundred thousand of it in our budget. Um actually this is something I would like to look up. Um Emerson Boyce, oh my god. Oh my god, yes. Right, well you will become this is your job mate. Uh, if you didn't know I absolutely adore Emerson Boyce. He is one of my favourite players of all time. I literally love him. He's a brilliant, brilliant player. He's so underrated, it's ridiculous. Um, where's under teams manager? That'll be at the top, won't it? Oh, no, she given. Oh, this is going to be hard. Right, um. I don't want to let Pat Jennings or Thomas and Kono go either. Right, let's get rid of one of our. We've got Emil Heskey, Gary Neville. Oh, we've got such a funny. We've got such a funny, um, thing, haven't we? Offer him a contract. 
We don't want him to be under 18's manager. Can he go as coach? He doesn't want to be a coach. Or can he be a goalkeeping coach? Um, yes, we've got another space. Unfortunately, we probably won't be able to match that. He doesn't actually want to do that, which is funny. Um, you'd think being Shea given he would. Oh, he's going to negotiate it. Uh, let's just delete this. This is just... I don't know what it is, to be honest. It just popped up on my computer. All I know is it's not a virus, so I can't bother to get rid of it. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I really hope we are able to get Emerson Boyce. Um, oh, Cardiff got relegated. That's not good. Um, so let's take a quick look at the Premier League overall then. So Nottingham Forest, Brighton and Cardiff did get relegated. We won the Premier League. Oh no, Chelsea managed to get ahead of Arsenal. A bit annoying because literally the game, the last game both Arsenal and Chelsea played was against each other. I was really hoping Arsenal would win it and they managed to, to get level on points but um, they needed Chelsea to lose. Unfortunately Chelsea didn't. Oh, well, I don't really care. <laughs> I, I, should, I should be happy Arsenal got Europe League football. In terms of the series, it means I can laugh at them but I do like Arsenal in real life. City, United, Chelsea, pretty standard to be honest. Arsenal, Newcastle, Liverpool, again, pretty standard. Annoying to see Everton quite, you know, bottom half, well, mid-table really, but um, what can you do? Um, Curtin comes down the Premier League. Uh, we haven't got any Player of the Year stuff yet. Um, I'm going to actually do this live and wait and see if we can get Emerson Boyce uh, in and our coaching staff. Oh, here we go, here comes Player of the Year. I, I want to hide them from you, but I can't, unfortunately. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll we'll go Player of the Year, and I'm, I'm guessing Team of the Year will also be in. Um, new average, oh my god, 91,000 fans as an, as an average. Very, very good. Oh, that's for United. I thought it was for the Premier League overall, but it's still, it probably is for the Premier League overall. Bell sets a new average rating record, uh, beating his previous record from last year. Uh, well done to him for that then. Uh, no, not last year, the two seasons ago actually. Bale has claimed player of the year, uh, setting up 39 goals in 36 games. Absolutely insane. Um, I believe he's won this award three times in a row now. Yeah, he has uh, 12 goals this year, um, which is six more goals than last year and one more assist, as well as getting 0 0.05 more on the average rating. And on his first season, he's done way better. Look at that. Almost double the amount of assists and two more goals. So, Bale's definitely improving and an uh, absolutely fantastic player. Uh, Rooney gets Players Player of the Year. What, what's he done? <laughs> um, right, this is a bit weird. 23 goals and 10 assists. Okay. That's very weird. I don't know why Rooney's in. You know, he's obviously had a good season. Um, average rating. I guess it's player, players play. It all comes down to who you play for, <laughs> or who you don't, or who you don't hate. Obviously, a lot of people hate Bale. God, uh, but no, Falcao top scorer. Uh, how many assists did Falcao get? I'd be interested to see if it was more than three. One less, and I think his average rating was better, and he scored more goals. So I'd say Falcao was better, on it, personally. Um, Damiel's probably better as well. Um, he scored more goals. Less assists again. Um, but yeah, so Falcao's got his obviously bonus thing. Hazard gets young player of the year. Neymar comes runner up. Let's see how Neymar's done actually as well. Uh, you know, ten goals, eight assists. Considering he only started 22 games, that's that's decent. You know, uh, he, a lot of them would have been on the wing as well. Um, he hasn't had the most amazing season, but for a free transfer, second in young player of the year award. You can't really ask for much more than that from a free transfer, can you? Delighted we actually managed to get him. That cheap. Uh, I always take a look at their goal of the season. It's Jem Karachan versus Manchester City. It meant absolute fuck all, um, but it gave me a bit of hope for 18 minutes <laughs> that Man City would lose. Um, not that I probably even knew, I was even aware that this even um, was a goal. Uh, let's take a look at it now. Hopefully it was an insane goal, and hopefully it was better than all my other goals, because I really hate it when you sc genuinely. Sc oh, I can't bother. I just, I just skipped it accidentally. Uh, oh, Joe Hart got uh, most clean sheets of 22. How many did Loris actually get um, in the Premier League? 21. He was one away. Oh, that is annoying. 
um, pet check came in third. How many check? I'll be interested to see how many check got. Real life, I think Hart, Check, and Loris are the three best keepers in the Premier League. I won Manager of the Year, of course. Um, how could I not? So, uh, yet three in a row for me. So absolutely insane. Kirbishly came second. Um, uh, it's interesting to see who's. Hmm. See who's um, done best. That's not very win percentage. Um, just going to look at the other. Yeah, the other ones seem to have much. Well, Mark Hughes, but not very good. Thirty-nine percent. I guess he's at West Brom. Don't know why David Moyes is at West Brom. Don't ask me. He probably got sacked or something. I don't know. Um, team of the year. This is always interesting for me. Um, it's nice to see both my centre backs. Three of the four in the midfield are mine. And of course, Falcao up front. Then on the bench, we've got Loris. Um, fair enough, you know, Joe Hart kept one more clean sheet, so it probably was a bit better. And Neymar, also of ours, on the bench. Um, we've got more players than any other club, so I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, is that eight in all, I think? Yeah, eight in all. Um, team of the year bonuses for a few players, fair enough for them. They've managed to get a, earn themselves a bit more money. And a lot of England players doing well for their clubs. Obviously, Stephen Corker for Tottenham and us. Um, so that about wraps up the season. Um, I want to actually see how long our unbeaten run was for. Um, so I'm not exactly sure. Um, it's probably in history records. Um, sequences. Most games won and oh, it's not unbeaten without losing here we go 91 games 91 games how insane is that 91 games unbeaten smashing Arsenal's record of 49 is it um, so yeah without conceding um, that goes to Manchester City actually we never got that without scoring that won't be us um, without winning always interesting to see not in Forest this season most games lost in a row Cardiff was 7 and most games won in a row um, was Man City. We won 19 in a row last season. I can't believe we didn't get more than 9 in a row this season. That's uh, unfortunate for us. Um, it's just the odd draw every now and then, wasn't it? Okay, away against United. Uh, away against Arsenal. It's just the odd draw, really. Uh, that that is the only that's my only regret of the whole season, to be honest. I mean, I, mean, I know we lost, you know, to City in the Premier League and uh, Sporting Lisbon in the Champions League. Okay, fair enough. But that's the one that really, really annoys me because we literally would have done everything. We would have won everything. Uh, really, really annoying. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do a proper. Wow, this has been a long episode. I'm going to do a proper, um, you know, season roundup um, later on. Um, probably right at the end. It'll probably be a whole career roundup because I kind of just done the season roundup apart from the Champions League. Um, so I'll probably do that um, later on, right after the Champions League. Uh, if I do decide to leave Tottenham, that is. If not, I'll probably just leave it. Actually, I'll probably just do a quick five-minute video, you know, wrapping up the end of the season and whatnot. But I think we can beat City. Um, going back to this now, um, I think we can beat City um, and actually go on and win the Champions League. And that would be my career at Tottenham done. Um, it has been fun, but I'm going to leave all that speech until later. So thanks for watching. Please do like, enjoy, and of course subscribe. Apparently, thanks and goodbye.